So your lifestyle at Arsenal, certainly when, when Alan Smith comes and and you're out of the team, it kind of reads like a bit of a something from a Shane McGowan song <laughs> in the sense of, you know, you were living hard, drinking and gambling was, was a big part of your life. You're a young man and you weren't necessarily playing football, so you didn't have that to keep you in um, at the nights. You become great friends with a lot of very famous names now, people like Paul Merson and Tony Adams, for example. Um, at the time, it's a lot of fun. I mean, there's a story of, of you with Tony on a two or three day bender that ends up in a confrontation with Vinnie Jones yeah. in a dressing room that, you <laughs> yes, know, yeah. I guess for you at the time, these, these were fun times. Oh, absolutely. And I had two lives. I had my football life and by that I mean two social lives. A football social life with, with Paul, Tony and the other players. You know, we had a famously, I think it was called the Tuesday Club that used to go out on a Tuesday afternoon and... Uh, We'd have Wednesday off if there was no midweek game. George would run us ragged up and down the terraces at Highbury. He'd come in shaken, but then you'd all have a good bit of water and say, OK, come on, let's all get down to King's Cross and we'll start there and we'll see. And that was a footballer's life. And we go to the wine bar, the yuppie wine bars of the 80s. Mm -hmm. But then also, you know, when they were all falling home at six, seven o'clock, I was only really getting going. I'd then go back to my mates who were back from work. We'd go to the Dog and Duck and Winchmore Hill and we would... At best, we'd stay there all night and, and drink in an Irish setting. Um, or we'd go up to, to one of the, the, the halls that would house the bigger Irish music bands. Um, done them all, you know, the Galtimore, mm. the National, the, just the, the Gresham, just the amount of th things that I used to get up to away from Arsenal that nobody at Arsenal even knew about. Because I can guarantee you, there was definitely no paparazzi at the Galtimore. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't lose the run of myself. I just went, I, you know, I, I'd always kind of, Wait, as, as, as the week got, went on, I'd know by Thursday, Friday where I was. And I was playing in the reserves. Um, we were winning the league, the reserves, we were too good, we, you know, to, to, to be playing at league. We might have one or two tough games a year. Um, but you know you're going to win five or six nil. You know the, the first team left on a Friday morning, they've gone up to Newcastle and you're not going to see them till Monday. It's now, you know, Thursday afternoon, you're playing a match on Saturday, so you know what, I'll, I'll go and have a few points tonight. Friday, you know, I'll, I'll cut it down, I'll cut it, I'll only have four or five tonight. The next night you play in the reserves and you, uh, and you win. Um, luckily, when I went to get away, I stayed in the night before the reserve game. I stayed in for two nights and Howard Kendall came to it. Mm. And he came to watch me play in a reserve team friendly um, down in South London. He came all the way from uh, Manchester, where he was at Man City, to watch me play. He stood on the terrace on his own. And, um, and that was the difference. Had I, I was very lucky if I had been sort of out the night before and didn't play well in that game, you know, which was a nothing game, um, then maybe I wouldn't have got my move to Man City. So I'm not advising people to do yeah. as I do, but what I would say is I, I had a lot of luck and, and I, I feel very grateful. That it, I so it, it never felt that it was out of control at the time? I don't think so, no. I think once George Graham said to me in a, in a huddle as we were training one thing, um, you've got a smell of uh, beer on your breath. And all the players looked at me and froze, and, and I, had a, I had one second to answer. And I just went, so would you, boss, if you had as, as much to drink as I did last night. And he started laughing, right? And so and everybody went, oh, thank God, when you thought you were going to get sacked there, you know? So that was the nearest, I think, yeah. I got to, um, to sort of being, being carpeted for it. 